In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply a very quick and easy to do split tone effect. But before I start, I want to correct a few faults with the picture. For one, the horizon is running off screen. So let's go and select our ruler tool and replace the cursor on the horizon there and just follow the C along or the horizon along. It's now set an angle for you and we go to image, image rotation and we'll select arbitrary. And now the angle that's been set is automatically entered in there and that's a one degree angle and we're going to rotate the image clockwise so click OK. Now the process of rotating the image has obviously left white borders around the edge so we're just going to trim that up to get rid of those and we'll use the crop tool for this making sure that on the top here we don't leave any white lines in and that looks okay to me and the other thing I need to remove is this tractor on the beach here and we can use the clone tool to do this well, I'm not going to show you that process because I'm sure you're fully aware on how to use the clone tool I've actually got a picture already prepared where I've done exactly that so now having removed the tractor on the left, I want to convert this image to a black and white. So we go to Image, Adjustments, and we'll select the black and white. And now I can actually increase the contrast by just using a simulated red filter and also lighten up the light colored pebbles on the beach. There we go, and that's looking okay to me. And now we go to the Layers panel, and I'm gonna duplicate the background. So let's just drag that and drop it onto create new layer. So now with the top layer selected I'm going to go back into image adjustments and I'm going to go back to black and white and this time I'm going to check the tint box and I'm going to apply a hue whatever you want you can just select various hues the one I've selected is actually 40 hue and a saturation of about 20 so I'm just going to accept that one. OK. And now what I want to do is actually blend the top layer with the bottom layer. So I bring out some of the qualities of the bottom layer and yet the tint of the top layer. So we go back into layers and I'm, with the top layer selected, I'm going to change this one to vivid light. And of course, that's looking a little bit dark. So we're going to change the opacity downwards. So it just blends it in a little bit more and we'll blend it into roughly about 30% somewhere. It's easier to type it in sometimes. 30% and that's looking okay. Okay, so now I want to add a little bit more to this and what we can do is click on the background, duplicate that layer yet again, put the background layer on the top and I'm going to add a Gaussian blur to this, one of my favorite bits. And depending on your file size will depend on how much Gaussian blur to put on. As this is only a small file size, I'm only going to put on somewhere about the 8.79, etc. If you're using a high megapixel digital camera, you may want to increase this to 15 or maybe even 20. But it's just basically a blur I want on there. OK, so now we want to go back onto our layer and we're going to select another mode and we're going to select the darker mode. And this is giving the overall picture a very soft and dreamy like eff effect. And we can go one step further by putting an adjustment layer on there as well. So we're going to put a curves adjustment layer on this. I'm just going to come out of that one again. But what I want to do is actually apply the adjustment layer to only the top layer here which is the Gaussian blur layer so if I hold my cursor between the two layers here and hold the alt key down at the same time I can now link this adjustment layer to just the top layer only none of the bottom layers will be affected so now I can double click on here and I'm going to just darken down slightly the shadow areas lighten the highlights and just possibly a little bit of lightness on the mid-tones as well. 
and that's looking okay and if, if necessary we can actually just reduce the opacity of that to satisfy our tastes.